everybody, John here again with the Pink Prussia. Uh, I am not in my home, as you can tell. I am in a secret, unsecured location, and I am at this workbench for the next few weeks. I do have a printer, and I am working. I am actually restarting the machine after pretty much doing a breakdown and rebuild. You might notice, if you've been paying attention to anything, that uh, some things are a little different. I do have a new Z coupling attached now since the last one broke during the rebuild. Same as that one now. And hey, it is a lot straighter. It's amazing. I have taken apart the back of the Y motor bracket back there. Let's get some focus. There it is. And uh, I've made some adjustments. I've kind of sunk the top motor uh, screw and uh, I actually put the, f the fender washer flat up against it. it gives it a nice strong brace nice flat. I also have taken the uh, the gear pulley back there, whatever it's called, and I've turned it around the opposite way so that it does not come off. What I was having problems with was the belt was slipping off of the pulley or almost and it was getting rough. The reason I had to take it apart was because I started noticing some significant Z wobble. Let me see if I can find that piece. Not Z wobble per se, but more like Z drift. Can you see that? It's very hard to tell, but there is a shift to the right there. And when I turned the motors off and I took a look at the bed, what I discovered was that it was very rough going in the positive direction. So instead of actually going in the positive, it would just try and then fail and then come back. And I was over the opposite. I'm not sure which way the problem was. But it was uh, basically, I had a problem with one of these rods. Something got loose somehow, and it was very tight going in the positive Y. And uh, that's what caused the Z drift. So I needed to fix it. To fix it, I felt like I needed to get the belts corrected and actually get the Z, uh, the Z bars, rods, actually perfectly centered and parallel. So that took a little bit of time. I broke it down. Uh, this morning and I put it back together this afternoon and it looks pretty good it's actually printing again I'm doing a pr uh, the standard pressure uh, calibration test I am noticing some, some small gaps in between the spaces of uh, the wall and the, and the uh, fill but I don't think it's nothing that won't be too hard to work out I'll probably just recalibrate the Z and X axis steps per minute millimeter and I'll figure out what's going on there see a little bit right there. You can see right there where the gear teeth are supposed to be. It's a little separated. No, not a big deal. I don't think there's any lash in these gears whatsoever. Somebody else tell me if you see any lash there. That looks pretty freaking solid to me. Let's look at back here. back there either and what lash looks like it's when the belt it's got a little bit of slack left in it and I'm not seeing any of that it's just tight enough it's not too tight I can't squeeze them together easily so I don't know what that problem is it probably is just a uh, the steps are off now that I've, re I've tightened some belts down. So I'll recalibrate. It won't be a big deal. Alright, so that's what's going on from here. Uh, leave some comments, like this video, and subscribe. Talk to you later.